Hi Lisa, can you see me? Because I can't see if I'm I'm visible. It's not showing whether I'm visible or not. Can you hear me as well? Just uh, so you know, I'm trying to put the um, the video that I did out with um, Karen Louise. We made a little uh, video myself and Anthony. I've put it onto um, my library channel. However, the uh, well, it's not live, is it? It's uh, Odyssey. But some people were saying that, uh, that they couldn't see it. So uh, I've uploaded it to YouTube. I can see and hear you. Okay, let me just show you what I can see. <laughs> so you can see what I can see. This is what I can see. So here's your comments. Uh, loud and clear, sweet. So right then, now I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to show you what's going down here with YouTube. So I've put this video right here, public. I set it for eight o'clock premiere. I set it for eight thirty premiere. I set it for eight forty-five premiere, and then I set it to just premiere, just straight to premiere. And I'm going to show you again what I do. So here's the video details. So as you can see, they've set it to private again. So I'm going to set it to public. I'm going to set it to set as instant premiere. I'm going to click done. I'm going to click save. It'll probably work this time because I'm doing this live. Okay, so that should now be set premiere. So this should be working now. Okay, so set premiere 903. They've disabled, dis the chat is disabled from this live stream for some unknown reason. Okay, now there's one like on it for some reason, it's been private all the way through, but there's a like on it from, some, from somehow, I don't know where. But as you can see, it's not premiering. So now then, I'll go back. Let's go back. Let's move that away. Let's click that. And let's go to my channel. And it's not here, look. So I go to videos. And it's not here. So right, I'll manage, my, manage the videos again. And here you go. It's gone back to being private. So I'm just I'm doing this so that you understand what 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 they're doing, how they do these things. How did this go to private? So I'll show you again. I'll click again. Right, right. You'll find it's back on private. So I click on it. I go public. We won't even we won't set it as we won't even set it as a premiere this time. Let's do it different way then. Let's just set it for public. So when it's public, now I'm going to save the changes. Change is saved, it says change is saved. Right then. So let's see what happens now then. Because uh, this still isn't working. So let me just go to all right, your channel. Hey, we've got it on this time. So it's on. So I can't set it as a premiere then. They're not allowing me to do premieres. And there wasn't allowing chats anyway, even though it wouldn't go air as a premiere. So it's on now anyway. So there's that done. Uh, what's this? Uh, so let me uh, stop the show on the screen. And let me go back to Facebook to see if, so I'm still not, uh, still not seeing anything. So I liked Andy before it was loaded. Ah, oh, <laughs> cheers. 
<laughs> well, it's on now anyway. For those people that couldn't um, see the uh, the one on um, Odyssey, which was the library channel, you can now see it on there. I can. St I still can't see myself. It's still not showing myself. Sorry, we're having trouble playing this video. That's all it says on mine. I hope Angela, how you doing, darling? No, yeah, a long time. No, no, yeah, it is actually. It has been a long time. Um, oh, Jason. Right then. Jason and uh, the, uh, the, the, the people that, um, that are having any um, alleged court cases brought upon them, yeah, that are being invited. I'm just shut, I'm just getting the cap on. Now then, um, so what um, what I did, I mean, I've been doing a lot of different things yet to try and uh, bring out the uh, bring solutions for the people. Yeah, just like many other people have done, and many many other people have, you know, got results and shown the results and whatever else. <coughs> um, I was I went down many different routes. I went down the quantum, which was the correct sentence, which communication pass so same Dutch grammar which to me is bulletproof, um, but the, the ignorance that you get from people and the, and the postal routes, is, it's very, very complicated. And how are you gonna get people to understand that? So this is an ongoing thing like, I've had to switch my notifications on so I get notified when you go live. Well, you're lucky you get notified even with them on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so me, I'm just a simple man, just like we're all, we're all, you know, some people have, have got fucking, you know, great brains. They can, um, speaking of court cases, guy is still at it from prison. Is that the one I sent you the other day? Or is that another new one? Is that another, another new one coming from there? Is that from a different, uh, yeah, Guy Brummel, by the way, is, uh, is a top guy like He's in prison at the moment in Canada. He um, he's exposed. He's like the children's crusade. But, mm, it, and I, I'm not sure whether he's still with um, or friends with um, uh, Phil McConnell. Uh, I know there was certain there was beef between himself and them. Um, it's a new one, is it? Cheers, Mark. You know. So this because we see what we're all after, isn't it? Yeah. People are saying, "Come and join this. Come and join that. Come and join this." Well, I'm not in. I'm, I'm not into listening to. It's like I'm. It's like, like what I'm trying to say. I mean, if you if you've noticed how we've dealt with this, I mean, I did this video yesterday with Karen, and uh, she told me what's gone through, what she what she's been through, in the thirty years of these um, courts and these social services. Yeah, what they've actually been doing. Yeah, because I, I do this because they're not, they're not courts and they're not social services. These are idiots. These are just idiots doing as they're told. And it's all make-believe, it's all fiction. And they're all making up lies. They're all just keeping into the argument. So this is the beauty of what Anthony's done. I mean, with what Anthony's done is the same as, similar, the same, similar same thing as what Baron David Ward had done, you know, is asking them to prove their claim. And they're saying it's 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 court cases. So, you know, we've got the forensic guys. You know, the forensics don't lie. You know, you, you've caught, you've got them by the balls, and we have got them by the balls. And they, they they don't like it. They don't like these facts being told to you because they rely on the fact that you don't know how the court process works. They rely on the fact that you don't understand what a court document looks like, what a court warrant looks like, what it must pertain to uh, to be a, an authentic and valid court warrant or court order. And same goes with the proceedings. You know, for them to be a valid proceedings, yeah, they have to have been issued by the court which would have been issued from the information labels, which was laid at the court for it to have any court authority. And they, they, have, they, they, they don't want the normal people knowing how things has to work. They rely on your ignorance or your nescience, 
whichever the case may be, because realistically, it really is more nescience, really, because the information isn't there. The information isn't really there. They're not open and transparent to how a court how a court works you have to you have to force them you have to pin them to the pin them to the friggin table to get them to fucking give you the answers to what it should really be you know you have to really nail them down and it's disgusting and, and i've shown um, in other documents where they've been totally they've just totally ignored it just totally ignored and like you say absence of a response is a response at the end of the day so ultimately yeah I would say it was it was just before Christmas, just before Christmas that um, I switched doing all the other things that I was doing and I helped Anthony what he was doing. The reason why is because I've always tried to bring solutions that I can understand, therefore you can understand them. The solutions that I was bringing was obviously too big and the quantum grammar or the correct sentence switch communication, Barse syntax grammar, was straight over people's heads. You know, the flag behind me and with the information that John Monell was bringing through, straight over people's heads. So I'm bringing this information for you, but as simple as I could try to break it down for you, you can't see it because they've hidden all these things and the, the fiction or the, the system that we work in, which is all off the fiction, because it's all working off corporations, which is the person, which is a fiction, and all their language is babble. And they ref they can't, <laughs> you can't, facts and fictions don't mix. It's like oil and water. You know, they're, they're not the same thing. And they, 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 the whole system works on deception. And it works on the fact that they deceive the people and they want people to think, and that's it. You, you game over, you know. Once you once you once you're settled that you're you know that they've got new authority, you know you've lost already because you've given your your power away. You're giving your your rights away. You're giving it all away to them by even considering them to have been <laughs> to, to even think that they're going to be honourable, to even think that anything this unless you're going to hold them. Like I say, you've got to really nail them down to get anything. You know, get these people to to do it, but there's so many tricks and traps, so many layers of deception that that give them the immunity, you know, so that they don't have to answer you because a corporation doesn't have to answer a corporation. A corporation is dead anyway, as you know. So your fiction is dead. So if you go as the fiction, if you're going to them as the fiction, they can ignore you because they can't hear you. A fiction's dead. A fiction's in a box. Yeah. Fiction has got no dead, dead people don't speak. So you have to go there for as the living man or woman. But even then, yeah, the second trap is if you're going to them as a man and woman, you've got to go to the man or woman, not their fiction or not their actor's name, because their actor's name is a, is a, is, is called immunity. It's, it's just a stage name and it's on a different level and it can't hear you again. And it doesn't have to, doesn't have to answer you because it doesn't, doesn't, it does what it wants. It's acting. It's just a, it's just a show. The world's a show. So you've got to go to the man to man, which is an obvious to me, because then because it's the man that swore on the oath. All these actors that you've got in these public offices, and what I'm saying, actors in the public offices, because they're all acting as chief superintendent, acting as prime minister, acting as. Minister of Party, yeah, yeah, MPs to the hospital, every, everything, they're all acting as. So first and foremost, it was the man or woman, because it's the man and woman that swears on the oath, not who they are acting as. And we're going to them, the ones that are acting as, and asking them, you know, where, are they sworn on an oath or not? They're not going <laughs> to... I mean, you might get answers from the police, because they are not as intelligent as the ones up the top. They know all the tricks and traps. You know, they know all the ways of how to deviate away from telling you what they need, what you need to, what you need to hear. So they, they force you in a way to word it so it's absolutely, un and once you do that, like I did when I was sending all these emails out to the people, once I was doing that, they just wouldn't reply. There was no response. 
never would I ever get a response. But at the same time, there was also not, there was not um, getting like, i.e. Carol Woods, John Patterson, because it ultimately it comes down to each individual. So I can't help you. All I can do is help you help yourself. So I can, I can't, you know, it, it, that's what it really comes down to. We, I can't help you. You know, with the templates and anything else that's being brought out, they still need to be made to your own. You have to make them. And anything else, like like anything else, when you're if you're sending something in, you know, you've got to know what's what's in it. You've got to know what it is that you're sending because they they can they can tell whether you know what you're talking about. They can give you answers back. You've got to know how to respond when they give you answers back because you've got to know what it is that they're responding to because you've got to know what it is that you've sent and why you've sent it. What was the intention of it? What did it, what did it, you know, what was the meaning of it? You have to understand the full meaning of each question that you're asking so that if they fail to respond, or they say, what do you mean by that? And then you're like, well, I don't know. I was just told to write it. You know, it's no good like that. You've got to know what it is you're asking yourself. So with the, um, so like I said, come, come just before Christmas, when I noticed what Anthony Badloo was actually talking about, and I actually saw very clearly now what this was, this was the perfect way. And as far as I'm concerned, I thought everybody can see this, you know, everybody can go A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, you know, certain processes, you know, you had to, you had to, you know, you had to be able to crawl before you could walk. You had to be able to walk before you could run. You know, these you didn't. Nobody just got up and ran. You know, so obviously something had to happen first. You know, and the same with, with anything. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a way. You know, you don't build. You don't put the roof on the house before you build the walls. You don't put the walls up before you put the footings in. You know, there's a process. Something has to be done. So it's a logical fucking process that everybody can see. So when it comes to a court case, then the logical thing is there has to be some information that's been gathered, that's been given to the CPS, so to say, by the police, or a man or woman decides to gather it up himself. Then either the CPS or whoever gathers that information up goes to the court and lays that information in front of the court for the court then to issue those proceedings and have proof of service. You also, when you go in, you have to pay a filing fee, which you'll be given a receipt. And when they actually take that information there and agree with it and give it a case number, that case number is attached to a case management file, which contains every bit of information that's within inside this court case that's going to be now. Because this is what the, this is the, the court is the paperwork, the case, everything goes inside the case. Just like in the old days, when John Winnell went over to England, if you remember, he had his court case with him. So he had his case with all his documents inside it. So that was his court and he'd got his court case. So that was his court case. Yeah. So when you can understand that, and I think anybody can understand that, if you can't understand that, then, you know, it's, uh, I don't know how any easier really we can help you on this because we've got to, We've got to, you know, the only reason any of this is happening, guys, is because we've allowed it. We've been asleep at the wheel. Good times made us easy, laxy daisy, and this is what's happened to us. We we didn't um, we didn't keep fucking focus on, and we've we allowed these these parasites, these poly politics, these poly you know, polis, <laughs> politics poly by the way, poly in Greece means very, yeah. So poly big, you know, big. Ticks, and we all know what a tick is. A tick is a parasite. So these big parasites that we've got are doing what they're doing because they can. Why does a bully do what he does? Because he can. Why does a liar do what he does? Because he can. If you catch a liar out, yeah, the man can't lie anymore, can he? Because you've caught him out, you've held him up, you've held him to account. If you stop a bully from bullying, you, you've stopped him from bullying, whether you're beaten up or whether you beat him up. It's not being bullied. You've been, you know, you've been attacked, you know. But if you are, if you cower, if you cower to it, that bully then can go on and bully somebody else, you know. You stop it in the tracks, you know. When it comes to us, we have to be, we have to men up and win up and, and and face it. But what we need to do that is the knowledge to how to stand, 
So we was never educated in the schools. We was indoctrinated in a way to do as you're fucking told. Don't argue, just get on with it, do as you're told. You know, this is what was instilled into us, not just by the school, it's parents and so on and so forth, you know. This is, this is the way it's been, but we must stop that. And only we, individually, singularly, separately, and, un and in, in a unity, when we all do stand together, you know, this is when we have the power of one. The power of one means one man or one community or one group or one country or one world is one, and one people, one people, which is what everyone's trying to do. But the point here is, is how do we get something that we can all agree to? So there's, as you know, with what's the, the way the system was, the way they created with these foreign vessels in dry dock that people are, know as courts, so now we know that these foreign vessels, yeah, these courts, let's just stick it for the, for the people to understand what it is. These, these court buildings, you know, there's more, you know, you can, if you go in to do your research, you're going to find out exactly what they are. But for all intents and purposes, you believe them to be courts, yeah, the majority, because it's the majority that they want here, yeah. So we need to know, yeah, the majority of people that are being invited into these into these venues yeah we need to know these the majority of these people have been invited into these venues because if the majority of these people that are being invited into these venues start asking the poignant questions that they can't provide you're going to have a you're going to have a serious effect it's going to have a serious effect so, I mean, Anthony said that, you know, we, he, he said that, you know, if we get a thousand people to download that, um, that one template where you're requesting the uh, caseman file one, two, three for a file view to see what's actually inside the case, see if there's any paperwork in there. Because remember, you've only got to, you've only got to answer to what's in the case. So, you know, if there's no information been laid at a court, then there's nothing in the case, then the answer to that scenario is that there is no case to answer to. So the vast majority of the people that have had their children taken off them, had the cars and houses and so on and so forth taken off them, when you actually make this request for this casement file, you're going to actually come, because I have not found, I mean, I stand to the last night on the, on the, when I was on the video, I said, have you actually seen one? Have you actually seen a caseman file? There's, there's a genuine one. He says, yeah, so he has, but I've not been looking that long. I've only been looking since before Christmas. But for every, everyone, that I've, um, everyone that I've done this with and sent for this information, the answers always come back that there's not one there. There isn't one. There isn't a case. So what, what you need to understand is that you're inside a, you're inside a staged arena this is, um, what was the, uh, tr the Truman Show? The Truman Show. The Truman Show was a film. If you've not seen Truman Show, understand what it is because the Truman Show was showing you something because all these people are in on it. And the reason why that they have got the power over your mind, I don't know if you've ever seen, if you've ever seen the, um, where, where, where this like, let's say there's 10 people in a row and they, they all sit down, they've gone in, they're brought in to answer questions, yeah? You know, it's just like a test and they, they give, give, give questions and then you give an answer. And there's 10 of you and they, they put the, the, the nine, nine of the people are all in on it. They all know. They all know to give the wrong answer. So when they give the, they give the question out, they put you on, let's say, on number 10. So all the other ones are going to give their answers before you give your answer. So they give a question out and then they go, yeah, it was A, 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 A. And you know, you know, you know 100% that it's B. But because all the others have said A, you've just gone A, gone along with it because you've been programmed by that herd mentality that's going around, because they're all in it, 
they've pulled you into their mindset because you're just going to say you're just going to go along with it because you'll feel stupid you know and that's what they're preying on they're preying on you because you don't have the the, the, the inner strength and the, the conviction to stand by what you know inside your heart is true so they're, they're, they're beating you down so in other words when you go into these court buildings and I'm saying court buildings because it's not a court, okay? If it was a court, then the procedures would all be correct and there'd be no breaches, yeah? And due process would have been followed and it would have been a, a, a genuine court with the authority of the court because everything was correct. So when you go into these uh, buildings, you've got an actor. There's, they're all actors. They're all actors because it's not a court. Because it, remember, it can only be a court if everything's been done correctly. So, and when you when you ask the questions and like we're saying, so just so that you know, because now remember, I did, I did this. To, I tried to stop this counterfeit court case, which was one hundred percent counterfeit. I can verify that as a fact. I speak that with full penalty of perjury. The court case that we got John Patterson locked up was counterfeit. Okay, and I speak this under the penalty of perjury because I have the evidence. The court themselves admitted it because there was never a case on file, so therefore there was no information ever laid in front of a court for it to be a court case. And the numbers that he was given were not court case numbers, they were reference numbers. So John Patterson's, her, his own lawyers, his own barristers, they knew this. The prosecution, obviously, because they were also given the same, they was also told, they knew this. The psychiatrist, yeah, he knew this. The judge, she knew this. The clerk of the court, they knew this. The, 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 the court manager, they knew this. So they continued it. And John Patterson's barrister got him to make a plea to something that wasn't in the case, therefore validating a case and then got him done. So what I'm saying it is so difficult, yeah, for you to grasp the fact that they're all in on it. And just like that list of 10 people, when it comes down to the 10th answer, even though the person that's standing in that 10th position knows the truth and knows that it's really the answer is to be given is B and knows it for a fact, will still give the answer to A because the other people all said it was A. So she just went along with it. And that's what John did because they were all in on it. He made the plea. He made a plea to something that didn't exist. And that's how they're tricking, and that's how they're getting every single one of you. John Patterson had a reason, he had an excuse, by the way. He had been poisoned. He had been totally poisoned and screwed him up, okay? So how do we get justice at present when they are all corrupt? It's a numbers game, yeah? This is why I'm saying, Mark, and this is what I was saying. This is why I joined in with um, um, uh, Anthony Baddeley, because I thought, with what I, I mean, I we had the numbers game with it all. We had it, we had it with the quantum, not a chance because people ain't gonna grasp that. Had it with the flag, not a chance people ain't gonna grasp that. But I thought with the court case, and it, again, we had it, we also with the Baron David Ward, with what the Baron David Ward has done, because he's proved to the fact that there is no government. So it was always about the people standing, if the people would stand and make them prove their claim, which they can't. So the Baron David Wards was an affidavit, was very big. People ain't going to read it. People aren't going to read it. We're talking common fucking people here. I'm a common person. I'm a common person, so I know how your minds worked because that's how my minds used to work until I fucking did the homework and did the research and spent seven years of my life doing what I'm doing to where I am right now. I'm just a fucking Joe Blog, just the same as any other fucker. There's nothing special about me. All I've done is taken the shit out of my head and put some good stuff in there so that I can see clearly and so that I can get more closure in it so I don't have to think so much 
because you don't have to think with what you've, when you've been given closure on something, you don't have to think about it anymore. Once you've learned how to ride the bike, you know you're not going to forget it. Once you've seen the truth and what it really is, you don't. So, you know, what truth, what is it that we, if I can now, we can now show, we can show you the fact that if there is no case file, if there is no case management file, which is to the case number that they're alleging you're being invited to go to, that means it isn't a case. And until they can produce that evidence, it isn't a case. So you have never been served with any proceedings issued by the court. And the, the proceedings is what you're going to be talking about. So if you've never been served anything, that's like me taking you into a court and I'm going to get you done for such and such and such and such, but I'm not going to give you anything what I'm going to take you in that court for so that you can't see anything that you're being taken in for. So you can't, you, there's no way you can form any defence because you don't know what it is you're going in for. Yeah? So you're being, you're being um, disabled. Everybody's being disabled. And there's laws about that. You know, all these things, yeah, law is there. To, <laughs> law is there to protect us, okay? Not them. It was to protect us, not chastise and do us, yeah? We're looking at it in the wrong aspect, you know? And we have to remember that right now, right now, it's a geometric level playing field but they're still working off the basic Roman rule, yeah, which was let those that are deceived be deceived. So what I'm saying to you is because of the mindset, because of the programming, because of the indoctrination, because of the fear-based mind control, because of the threats that scare people, yeah, you know, people are, are reluctant. But I mean, I see all different things, but... What more easier way is there than asking and staying as king? Because you're on the higher ground. You're not making any claims. And until you see the claim, nothing's, no claims have been made against you, the man or woman. Never has. No man or woman has been taken to these courts because they're not speaking to you. But that's a different, we're not even interested in that. You know, we're not even interested in that because at the end of the day, if there is no proceedings, then there is nothing inside the case. Therefore, you've only got to answer what's inside the case, and that is nothing. So there is no case. There is no case to answer to. But the, you, that's, something, that's all you've got to stick to. And you've seen Anthony, you've seen Anthony, what he's done, he's won so many cases. He's stopped so many other fucking people's cases just by because they stood on, they stayed on point. They stayed on point. Yeah, you know, that's what I mean about staying on point. Just so I mean, so you can see what I mean about staying on point. Look at the box, guys. You don't know your abilities. You don't know your abilities. When you look at that box, you will see a change. You will see a change of perspective. The fight and flight mode. They are working off our abilities because we are so fucking intelligent that we don't know what we are. And because we, we, we acquiesce, because we're not sure of ourselves, we don't realise how powerful we are, you know? And until you do it, until you get off the porch, so to say, until you make them produce the material evidence to substantiate the claim, you're not going to see your power and the power that comes in this, in the, in the, you know, this, this, the power that's in this pen, you know, when you write that request requirement out, you require, you know, a copy of the caseman files. Yeah, you require it because you require to see that the information lay so that you know what the proceedings are. How can you form a defense, guys, if you've never even seen what you're going in there? You're going, you're being disarmed, you're being disabled. Yeah. My 72-year-old friend just had a letter for a court date for going to a protest. I will send him this. Yes. Also, send 
the case file request. Yeah, the caseman file request. Let me see if I can uh, find it. I'll, I'll find it so I can show it. I think I put it on this one. I think it's on that, that video actually, yeah. So let me just have a look. So here we go. You just make it your own. So yeah, All right, in a second. So here we go. Um, let me zoom. I'll find the zoom in a minute. Here's my zoom. So here's the case. Here's the case file view. All right, this is the uh, temper. Right. So where's that? Where's that? There we go. So let me make this bigger. Is that like that? Why is it? What? Why are you like that? Damn boy. Oh, isn't it going to expand? Can't make it go bigger. But anyway, so this is it, Bernie. So you got your name at the top. It's a constructive notice, constructive notice and request. So if you've got a, um, if you've been, if you say that somebody's brought, inviting you, invited, inviting you to court, so it will be somebody, yeah, and this, this, this particular one was the, the Attorney General, Geoffrey Cox, versus um, whatever his name was. So this was, so it will be, um, let's say, it'll probably be the council, or it will be um, the police, or it will be, whoever that's take that's taking you to court yeah so it's whoever it is versus your name this will be your name yeah and then he's just got i a man stuart so i mean i would just put i i mean I, you can like i say you can adapt this to yourself you can make this your own you can write you can copy it verbatim or you can make it your own Obviously, you can't copy it bang on verbatim because you've got to put the names and stuff in here, yeah? Can, can you all see this okay? Because, I mean, it would be a shame. It would be nice if we could make it a bit bigger. Let me see if I can make it a bit bigger. It's a bit bigger anyway. So, yeah. So, I, man, Andrew, make this request in compliance with the party's statutory rights under the CPR 5.4, two in brackets, or its equivalent and your common law duty to be open and transparent, supply of documents to requiring party. This is not a DSAR, right? So this isn't a, um, this isn't a data subject access request. These proceedings, right, yeah, that you're asking for, right, with inside these documents, this is what the court, and I'll put that in brackets, this is what, this is what the, the alleged court is stating that you must have received if you've got a lawyer then they're going to say that they sent it to the lawyer you know don't have a lawyer you don't want a lawyer because if you have a lawyer you've lost your voice you can't stand there as a man the lawyer can only represent your fiction you've signed yourself as incompetent and the lawyer works for the bar association and i've told you at the very beginning they're all in on it i told you what they did to john patterson and i've seen it done to any other people they are liars because they are lawyers. Lawyers are liars, solicitors are prostitutes, okay? You don't need a lawyer because there is no case. They have to produce the material evidence to substantiate the fact that it is a case and that no procedures have been broke. They won't be able to, okay? They won't. I've not seen one yet. I can't say they won't. There may be, there may be a slim possibility but uh, certainly not for what uh, you're, you're for, for, for a fine or anything like that, okay? So, number one, I formally request a copy of sections one, two, and three of the computerized court records CCR or caseman printout in accordance with the Ministry of Justice Dec uh, Directorate for the above case number where it states. So, on here, in here also is name. And also that will be the case number, yeah, the, the alleged case number, by the way, because there will be a, there will be a number, more than likely there will be a URN number, which is the CPS, which is not the court, 
In fact, Del Irons phoned up the CPS the other day and the CPS told him, we are not the court. So that's the CPS telling you that they are not the court. So they don't have the authority of the court and you know the council is not the court. So you know that the council hasn't got the authority of the court. However, the council are higher in the building and they're running their makeshift court cases in there, which are not court cases, okay? And there will not be any information laid at the court because they've hired the building. So there will not be no case file. Without no case file, there is no case, remember. There's the case. I open it up. Let's have a look. Oh, there's nothing in it. Therefore, there is no case to answer to. Bingo. It's a nullity. Okay, so. <clears throat> And it says, so director for the above case numbers, because you're putting that case number that they've given you as a case number, okay? So they've told you that's a case number. So if that is a case number, I'll go again, I'll reiterate it for you, because you, I want you to understand, I'm not, I'm not talking to the people that do know, I'm talking to the people that don't know, yeah? So I'm gonna repeat it like I would like it being told to me so that I can understand it, okay? So when, there is a case being brought against you. Somebody has made a case file. Somebody's made this, this paperwork of, of affidavits, witness statements, all the evidence, and they've made this pile, they've compiled this, this, this case together. Then they go to the court and they lay that information in front of the court. Then the court issues a case number, and then they issue the proceedings on yourself if it's you that's been brought if it's you that's been invited to this court case so that case number contains the case management this which is the cc the ccr the computerized court record so okay so that case number is a reference number to the ccr and that contains everything which is inside that case that means all your emails phone calls uh, filing fees for the because obviously when you when you file that when you take when that paperwork's taken to the court, you also get a filing fee. So you've got to pay for to, to put this in. So you pay the money, they give you a receipt. All this will be inside that case man file if it's legitimate and lawful, genuine and authentic. If it isn't, then go back to the beginning. Oh, there's nothing in the case. There's no case to answer to. So Upon request, this document, this is in your case month file, is provided by the court's administration to the parties in the proceedings, claimants and defendants, who ask to obtain the printout, <coughs> the computerized court records, CCR. This document is crucial to check and cross-analyze the validity of the proceedings meaning did the court send me this or did some dirty thieving little scoundrel working inside the council or the cps that is counterfeiting the court's authority by pretending to be the court you see they're not the court. The CPS told you i told you the other day and you know damn well that the fucking council is not the court however i will tell you for and on the record that it was the council using the CPS that created a counterfeit warrant that got Carol Woods chucked into a mental health ward because the court themselves stated on record that they never created that warrant. So what I'm saying is, if they wanna disappear whistleblowers, they can use the process fraudulently without going through the correct due process, and they can take you, just like they did John Patterson, just like they did Carol Woods, just like they've done so many others, yeah? So many other people, and just like what exactly what they're doing, they can take your children. They're taking your children by doing exactly what I'm stating to you, because the council, are using the CPS to fraudulently look like that they're the court and all them are working together. 
they're working together to get your control of your mind and make you argue, make you argue about he said, she said, instead of just sticking to the point. Hang on. Can I have a look in the case, please? Oh, there's nothing in this case, sir. There's no case to answer to, is there? I'm not going to sit here and argue about fucking he said, she said, sir. This is no court case. Do you see where I'm coming from? So, two. So this is so. I'll, I'll read. I'll read this out again. So, upon request, this document is provided by the court's administration to the parties in the proceedings, claimants and defendants, in brackets, who ask to obtain the printout of the computerized court records (CCR). This document is crucial to check and cross-analyze the validity of the proceedings, that they've got the authority of the court and that the actual court themselves were the ones that issued it because they are the only ones that can issue the proceedings. The fucking council cannot, the CPS cannot, the court has to have issued them for it to be called a court, okay? Otherwise, it's called a council or it's called a CPS building with a makeshift fucking court case. It's not a court case. OK, all the data held and recorded by the court is displayed on the court report, the CCR, as divided in three sections. A file view request to inspect the paper court file. Urgent a copy of the application and claim form issued by the court, a copy of the particulars of claim issued by the court to justify the legality and the lawfulness of the statement of the claim. Grounds, and here you go guys. This is the most important line you're ever gonna say. I have never been filed, so I, I have never filed nor been served with any proceedings. You don't have to put the note that I've never filed anything, but because I mean, that, that's this is more than this is this is adding more. But if you was in the actual court case themselves, you know, all you're stating is that you have never been served with any proceedings issued by the court. I have never filed nor been served means basically I've never put anything in the case. And I have never been served with anything out of the case because it had to have come out of the case because the case is the court case and it's the court that has to issue those proceedings. And I've never given anything to be put in it and I've never been served anything out of it. Okay, job done. Issued by the court. So I'll read it again. I have never been filed nor been served with any proceedings issued by the court on which the case number appears. Okay. And remember, they call it a case number. Now, if I called that a, a, a URN number, you know, why don't they say what it is? It's either a case number or it's a, it's a URN, which is a, a CPS reference number. I mean, when I, when I got to John finally to instruct his lawyer to give him the case number, he was instructed, John, what, John Patterson's uh, lawyer, Alan Hobden, was instructed to give John Patterson the case number. John Patterson's lawyer, Alan Hobden, from Stephen Rimmer's solicitor, gave John two numbers, two numbers. One was a reference number that nobody knew what was. The court certainly had never heard of it or seen it before. And the other one, the court told us, was not a case number. It was a URN number, which is the CPS. And as we've said, the CPS is not the court, okay? So the court has, by definition, told us there is no court case. There is no court case, because a court case is the, where the information has been laid. This is, a, this is, a, a, this is, a, this is a, a CPS case. John Patterson's was a CPS case because Jilly Jones the solicitor for Katie Vaughan, the, the East, East uh, Sussex, Sussex uh, Crime Commissioner, 
um, Ricky Dearman, uh, who was the, the father of the Hampstead children, who, who told the world that his father was the leader of a satanic cult. Um, you had um, uh, DC Steve Martin, who was the Freemasonic policeman who made the children change their story. And then you had Karen Irving, who was the vile um, attacker of anybody who's exposing facts. That was that she leads this Hopestead, which is like a, 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 C, a, a GCHQ. These are these are these are these are protected. These people are protected by these same people because it's it's the, it's those protecting. They dis, disappeared, John, by creating a counterfeit court case. That's the power that these have got. That's these sick people that, that were attacking me all the time. Okay, so. So a, uh, a, a cutter on the grounds, yeah, so therefore, the documents and information are required from the court's administration, non-judicial. From the court's administration, non-judicial. There's two sides to a court. There's the judicial side, there's the administrative side. The administrative side have to have issued the proceedings. They're the ones that keep the paperwork. The judicial side, they just do the, the judgment, yeah. They do paperwork as well, but they do the judgment. The paperwork's all kept in the file on the administrative side of the court. Okay. But obviously, this judicial side, you know, this, this hidden hand, they're all working in the private. And they're all working in the private to fleece all the people, take the children off people, take the houses off people, take the cars off people, disappear, whistleblowers, get rid of anyone that's causing a problem. Anyone that's making a noise, let's get rid of him. Let's stick him through a counterfeit court. Let's chuck him in prison. Like they did that to Al Ali, there was another lad, he's just been given eight years, eight years in prison for contempt of multiple contempt of court. What fucking court? But this is what they do to people, and this is how they disappear in it. Okay. So the documents and information are required from the courts administrated, non-judicial, in brackets, onto your common law duty to be open and transparent and affect human rights under the ECR Articles 5, 6 and 8. If you are unable or unwilling to comply with my request of 1 to 4, provide the reason in writing by return. Implied admission by the absence of response. Now remember, if you haven't got something, how can you give it? So that's the ad implied admission. If you can't produce what you must show me, because it's mine to be seen. It's, if I'm meant to have been served, I need to see it. So if you can't show me what I'm meant to have been seeing, that means the court never gave it me. That means either the CPS gave it me or the, or the council gave it me. They are not the court. It's only the court we're mattering, because it's only what's inside the case, remember guys? Oh, nothing in there, <laughs> no case to answer to, yeah? So implied admission by absence of response. This notice will be used in evidence. Kind regards, your name, CC to who it may concern. Why do you say C to C, CC to who it may concern? That means this is there for everyone. You can now share your documents because it's C to everybody. Because everybody this, this concerns everybody, does it not? Does it not concern you that your these buildings that are alleged courts yeah, are operating in fraud and counterfeiting the authority of a court, stealing people's children, stealing people's houses. Does that not does that does that not concern you, people? Does that not concern you? It's so simple to catch them out, like Anthony's shown. Yeah. So attached attached court as an instrument of fraud, because they're not going to be able to show you guys. So let me go back to the uh, video so I can see you. Excuse. See if anybody's talking. So, where am I? Who has just got eight years? Alan Allenson. There was, um, I, I shared, um, one second, I'll find his name for you. One second. I'll find his name. I, I, tried, I, tr I tried to help him before um, and I sent him some information but I don't think I got to him in time. Uh, he was in prison at the time. Let me just shut this down. Um, where 
his area. His name is uh, Elavi Elavi Dawi. Elavi Dawi. Okay. Let me. Uh, I'll show you. Let me show you. So let me zoom. I'll show you who he is. Okay. So this is the uh, guy, right? This this guy here. Beautiful, he's a diamond of the Giza, and he's been fighting for his daughters. I think he's got two daughters he's been fighting for. Okay, and they've just they've wrapped him, they've wrapped him. He's pretty clued up as well, he's very clued up. The guy knows his stuff like that, you know. You know, sadly, I I I, I couldn't, I didn't get to him. I didn't get to try, you know, to even try. I don't, I don't I don't think I ever got to. I think he was locked up. I think he'd been locked up. By the time, so I, I I had no contact with him to even try to help him. I had no, I had no, you know, nothing. I couldn't give him anything. But man jailed for eight years after repeatedly breaching court or court orders. So there's a claim right here. They're claiming it's a court. I guarantee it wasn't a court. Until you see the case, until you see the case file, I look in there, you know, because if it's not a court, I, I'm gonna, I, how did he breach any court? Listen, mate, this is what's going down. A man who labelled judges devils because he was true. Is that exactly what they are? They're satanic because they're all wearing the black robe and they're mourning the dead and they're working in the dead. That's satanic because what does satanic mean? They're liars. They're liars and they're deceitful. So that is what Satan is. Satan is a lot. So they are satanic, the devils, yeah? Has been jailed for eight years at Bradford Crown Court for repeating breaching court orders by posting YouTube videos containing information that was banned from revealing. He was banned from revealing. Levi Dowie was sentenced in his absence this week after a jury found him guilty of four breaches. So as a jury, right? So if a jury found it. Now, remember this, guys, yeah? Remember this, when, when I say about these things, this is meant to be a court case with a, now they're all saying, that's it now. It's like John Patterson was saying, I'll get my say in court, I'll get a jury, I'll have a jury there. Okay. John would have got exactly the same thing about a jury there. Do you know why? I think I can't I can't I can't say it for, for surety, but let me put it this way to you guys. Anthony Badley was put in prison, even though it wasn't a court case even though it wasn't a court case, but he was put in prison, yeah, by the jury. All 12 jury found him guilty of trespass in his own house. Now, what I'm saying to you is this, guys, this is what I need you to understand, is when you go into this building and you think it's a court, but it's not, it's just a building, and you see there's a judge and there's a clerk and there's a CPS there and there's a few other lawyers and there's people standing around, and by all intents and purposes, in your mindset now, you're in a court. But remember, for it to have the authority of the court, then there had to be an information lay. Like those, those proceedings must have been issued to you by the court. They must have proof of service. There must have been a filing fee signed. There must have been a receipt given for the filing fee to create this court case. This is just some of the things that's required for it to be a court case, to be able to call it a court case, okay? Otherwise, it's just what it is. It's make-believe, okay? So when it's all make-believe, and they bring in a jury of 12 people. Where do them jury come from? How do you know that they weren't crisis actors, just like the rest of the fucking actors in that room that was pretending to be a court? You see where I'm coming from, guys? So anyway, this is this guy here, yeah? This guy here has been sent eight years imprisonment for being breaching a counterfeit court order. Because I bet you, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking, I'm speaking with confidence because I'm 99.9% .9 sure that all of this court case will never, there'll be no case on file, there'll be no filing fee brought into it, and this is this has been done via the council, social services, capita, to steal children, one way or the other, because they make so much money out of it, they make so much money out of these things, right to a fair trial, 100%. You've got the rights, but only if you speak for them and stand up for them. 
necromancy, bringing the League of Dead Persons for life, exactly. But the other piece, well, Ryan, what you also understand is the other people, they're, they're practicing necromancy by answering to the legal person, the legal fiction, yeah. You know, there's that side to it as well. Oh, okay, thanks. Alan got nine months out the hands of the terrible trio, Ricky, Steve and Karen. All right, I don't know about, I don't know about that one. You know, nice one, Mark. Judge vacated. Most recent, I made the magistrates and district court run out. Administrative room, alias court room, an alias court room, yeah. Yeah. So, Andy, should he do this by email or record the delivery? You can, um, you can do it. I, I, we, I, we did the last, last time that we did it, we did it um, both. Because, see, what we was never educated in, what we was never taught is, is how to defend ourselves. We wasn't, we wasn't taught nothing of this stuff in school, guys, was we? We should know all this stuff. We should have all that information that Baron had in his head because men stand up and they're on, they remain in honor. They don't, they don't accept no shit. If you make a claim, you, you prove it, you know? And that's the way we have to be. The only, the only reason these people can do what they're doing is because people aren't standing up for themselves. And then they threaten you and they threaten you. Well, listen, mate, yeah? I've heard fucking farts come through and you check your pants and there's nothing in there, right? And until they follow through with it, mate, it's just a fart. You know, it's the same as like, I tried to tell that with John, like, you know, or they're going to pin you down and they're going to inject you. Until they've done it, they haven't done it, you know? And as I always said, like, you know, because I will, if they, if, they, if they grab me, if they grab me and they take me in, right, and they go to inject me, I'm dead because I'm going to have two of their people, I'm going to have at least two eyeballs in my hand. I will fucking have, I will have rumps of flesh in my mouth because I will fucking chew their goddamn faces off. I'll rip their eyeballs out. I'll do everything I can because I will defend my fucking life to the death. I will fucking, I am prepared to die. I will not take shit from no fucker when I know I'm right. And I will stand my ground in the law, the most highest law in the land, which is stand my ground, the castle doctrine, the line in the sand. You do not fucking cross my line. You do not fucking do this to me because I will defend myself. The I with me will defend myself. Me, personally, Andy, yeah, this lovely guy, he, you know, I never want to fight with anybody. I will never fight with anybody. And the last ever thing I will do, and when I will always talk my way out of it. But when it comes down to that, it's not me anymore. You know, there's an animal inside us all, guys. And when you treat somebody like an animal and push him into a corner, it's going to fucking jump for your throat. And that's not me. And that ain't me that pushed that through. That was you that did that. So that's what I'm saying, you know. And you've got to... You know, when, you, when you're that, when you are that, you know, of course they can kill me. They could kill me tomorrow. They could have sent anybody over here to keep, keep, keep my gob shut. They could have done anything they want. They, they can do anything they want. I'm not here to cause any fucking bias. I don't want anyone to kill anybody. I don't want anybody dying. You know, it's not about that. I just want to stop this fucking disgusting stuff that I'm having to now. You see... Before I knew what was going on, I didn't have to, I didn't have to be worried about this. I didn't, I was oblivious to it. Ignorance is bliss, yeah? Well, fucking it ain't bliss when now you see it because I'm seeing all these people that are being, having their children taken off them and all this lot. And what can I, what can I fucking do? I, I, I can see exactly where they're going wrong. And I keep saying, look guys, if you want to know what the problem is, go and look in the mirror. Go and look in the mirror, because that's the problem. But guess what? The fucking solution staring straight back at you. Stand up. Stand up for your rights. You've got every right to do these things. But you have to stand up, fearless, with the conviction. You know what's right. And when you know it's right, you stand there with your true conviction, mate. They will bow. They will bow. Yeah? And if they're not going to bow, then does, what does it matter? That's like somebody coming up with a fucking gun and saying, here, get in this fucking car, innit? You know, putting a gun to me, get in this car. What? 
So I'm going to get in this car so that they can tie me up, smash my fucking kneecaps up, smash my fucking toes up, smash my elbows, rip my fucking teeth out. Fuck you very much, sir. Let's best pull that trigger because if I don't get that gun out of your hand and I don't shove it up your fucking ass, you know, I'm going with you and I know what's coming for me. So no, thank you very much. I'll take what this really is right here and now. And if you put a gun to my head, mate, I'm going to shove it up your ass or you're going to kill me. One thing or the other, because I certainly ain't going to go in that van to get my knees smashed up and be tortured before you kill me. OK, so I take the deal right now. I see what's in front of my face. I see my options. Go and be tortured to death or die an honourable on my fucking feet. I will die on my feet. I will do what I need to do to defend myself. And if I didn't succeed, then I ain't going to be bothered about it because I'm not going to be here, am I? If you understand where I'm coming from. So, we, uh, where have we gone? Oh, what have we done there? There we go. No, I don't want that. Uh, let's get rid of that. Where's that? Where's that on? Let's shut that down. Have I just shut you down? No, I haven't shut you down. Right, so, um, Common law. See, common law's not, guy. Look, common's not common law. It's, it's got to be agreed to, guys. Until we fucking sit down and agree to it, it ain't there. And the kings created common law. Kings were servants of the man, but the people ain't there, like you know. Love your passion, Andy. Totally agree with you. We will defend ourselves. This evil doesn't stop for sure. And I, and I don't want to. I'm not going to fight it. There's no. <laughs> they've lost. The only power they've got is by deception, guys. That's it. The only power they've got is deception. Once you've got the, the right questions to ask, you're, and that's what I'm trying to say. That's why I focused on what Anthony had done. Not, not because his is the own end or be all. It's the Baron, the, the way the Baron David Ward, that's the end or be all. You know, the, the quantum grammar, that's the end or be all. The, the, the king's leg, that was the end all bill. These are all beautiful solutions, yeah? But at the end of the day, you know, what's going to, what, when, when the people, when the people, when the people, not the persons, when the, when, the, when the people become people again, yeah? And they realize who they are now, now they have a voice. Then the people, the people, not me, the people, we, as a people, meaning as a collective, the people, the people will then come together and we'll, we'll have an agreement. I'm pretty sure what the agreement will be. You know, it's pretty pretty easy, really, because they, they just go, oh, fuck, I, I don't like being in other groups. You're constantly being fucking hassled with ping, 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 pings. You get these groups and you have loads of fucking people in this group, like, yeah. And then they think they're in there to learn something. There's so many comments in there, mate. You've got no chance. You, you know, how are you meant to look at all these? Where do people think they're getting from by forming groups that no one's looking at you, what you're posting in there? Because you can't, because it's, it's fucking miles up the list. You know, that's, that has to be a common goal of a common understanding. That's what I was trying to say. If we can bring all the groups together just on, just on this, we can still do everything else. We can still be doing our other things, but we could just bring this one in because it's always been about the courts. Where does the justice come from? <laughs> where is where are we the people? I'm just shut this one up. Let's have somebody else down. I wish people would leave me alone with the messages, man. It's a fucking pain in the arse. You can't you try and concentrate and all you get bing 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 all the time. Uh, need more like you here in Canada, brother. You're there. <laughs> you're there, Colin. Colin, you're there. And it's it's the same. It's all over, mate. Because the, the courts are all the same. This the procedures are all the same. This goes this goes anywhere in in the world. I swear, you know, it's an obvious, isn't it? If we don't hold these courts to 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 account, mate. Yeah. If we don't hold them to account, we're responsible. We, the people, formulated the, if there is a government, because we, we know it's not it's a corporation, but for all intents and purposes, they're calling it a government, and it's a government, yeah, because it's in the people's minds that it's a government. Now, the people 
created the government we own. We create what we own. Now, why? You have to ask yourself, why are they, the government telling the people? Does the tail wag the dog or does the dog wag the tail? Does the servant tell the master or does the master tell the servant? Well, the masters, the people, yeah, should be telling the public servants, the servants. But the masters, the people, have allowed the public servants to create a curriculum for them to be indoctrinated so that they have not got the inner standing to be able to master their own servants. So they dumbed everybody down. So that the servants, so that the, the, the masters are now servants to the servants that have mastered you because you got lazy, because you fell asleep at the wheel. I'm the same. When I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. Yeah, it's my face I'm looking at. Whatever I say, I'm saying to you. Okay. And this is all it is, guys. There's nothing complicated. There's nothing big, special, super duper. There's nothing. These are just servants that have mastered you because you've allowed yourself to be mastered. They have got zero authority over you because you have never, ever given that consent for them to have any authority over you or to be able to enforce any act, statute or legislation upon you. However, because you're not aware of that scenario, you're now tacitly agreeing to it. And that's just by deception. You would never do it. Therefore, in your head, you're now thinking that nobody else would do it. Then you're a twat. You're a fucking dumb arsehole. Because the only reason these people are doing this is because you think like that. You're very nice. I'll say it better for you. You're very nice people. Yeah, just like I was very nice until I was 47 years of age. And I decided to spend some time and work very hard on myself, you know, to clean the shit out that we've all had put in our heads to get that shit out of our heads so that I could see clearly because I knew there was something coming. I felt it. There's something very bad coming. And I knew it. And what is it? Nothing. It's nothing. It's not coming. It's the people. It's been done. It's already happened to the people. But how does that change? <laughs> the only thing that cures you is the truth, but the people don't want the truth because they find it repugnant, because they're all doing wrong. And they've all been doing very wrong for a very long time. And just like the lawyers and the solicitors and the judges and the police, they don't want to admit that they're doing wrong because that means they've been doing everything wrong. So they're not going to admit they're doing wrong now is the same sense as the people won't accept the truth because if they did, it would be like me where I cried my fucking eyes out, yeah? When I realised it was me that sat my fucking son on my fucking leg and fucking poisoned him. Because I was a fucking dumb cunt that had been programmed to be a dumb cunt, okay? And what I'm saying is, that's it. When you admit it, you have to admit it. You've got to go through that process, guys. It's like dying and being born again because you've been through. You've, it's not your fault. Fool me once, shame on you. Meaning, they fooled us. They fooled us. The shame is on them. Yeah. We're working off the sins of the fathers, okay? Because it's all malachia. Yeah. It's all a fucking dream. All a fucking dream, mate. And that's it. That's the power that we have. Once we see it, once you see the truth, yeah, you can't unsee the truth. I'm going to have to block these people. I'm done with it, mate. Oh, John, leave me alone. Fuck sakes. Oh, God damn it. And it always says, oh, attachment un unavailable. Attachment unavailable. Why do you keep sending me things? Obviously, it's from some idiot or whatever. I mean, I'm blocked from him, aren't you? Right? Anyway, 
So I mean, it like it winds me up. That's that's it. it takes me off my, constantly. That's that that thing. Like I'm not good. I mean, if I was brilliant, yeah, then I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be allowing. I would be able to stay focused. I would be able to stay on that one shape. One shape. I wouldn't be changing on the other shape. You know. I don't know if you've seen. I, for everyone that's, that hasn't seen this, you know, you should you should know what's going on because this is what the courts are doing to you. That's what the courts are doing to you guys. They're changing your perspective to take you off the point. They want to take you off the point. They they don't want they don't want you going in there asking them for their oath of office. They don't want you going in there to to um, qualify everybody. I need to. I, I'm in I'm in this building. I, I need all of you to qualify who you are. Provide me the, the, your certificate of uh, practice law. I need to see you're 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 qualified to practice law. I need to see your oath of office. I need to see your indemnity insurance because if you mess up here. I want to be able to get some nice compensation. You know, I want to make sure because if no different than a gas man coming around my house, if he's coming out to my house and he says he's he's got a fucking um, you know, he's he's a corgi registered, I want to see the proof that he's corgi registered. I don't wish fucking I just want to hear him say it. I want to see that he's corgi registered. That way I know if he does screw up, I'm covered by the corgi, which is insurance. You know, you need to see these things, guys. These things have got to be shown. They've got to be shown to you so that you can see and know whether or not these people are genuine. How do you know? I mean, Dean, there was another, another mate who, who just was in court the other day and he held him down. The judge ran out three times and he, he just walked out the court, shut the court down and, and went on. He asked the judge uh, three times. Now, he found this, the judge, this judge's name and that judge retired. I think it was... Uh, probably about two two or three years away to about four probably up to it was about it could have been four years ago that this judge had retired he was retired so when these like i'm telling you guys when the counts or the cps are hiring this court building yeah they're hiring the court building they could be bringing in act bringing in actors like a retired judge to to sit there as an actor yeah and they could also bring in 12 fucking crisis actors to sit in this jewelry box, to sit there and, and, and make out like, oh yeah, really interested, but they've already been given a script. Oh yeah, guilty. And you're in there thinking, you're speaking up and you're, you're pouring your heart out, telling about all this, about this, he said, she said, she said, he said, and your fucking game's already rigged. The result's already there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say to you. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm being told it. And it's obvious, isn't it? I mean, how can 12 jury, how can 12 people find you guilty of trespassing in your own house? I rest my case. I rest my case. Tell me, am I stupid? Am I stupid to think that you know there might be something wrong there? Am I, am I being am I being over the, over the top here? Am I saying that these things like you know I'm just being a, a conspiracy theorist? Yeah, am I being a conspiracy theorist? <laughs> what do you mean? It couldn't have been. I told people about many things. I said no, they couldn't be. They get done. No, it couldn't be. They'd have to put it on television. It'd be in newspapers. No, they couldn't be the government to tell you. What government? What government's that then? You mean that corporation? I, I, I'll, I'll put you, I'll put anyone a thousand pounds right here and now that there's no government because if there is, then uh, you've, you've, you're going to rebut David Ward's affidavit because David Ward's affidavit proves and it's got royal assent. And it's got the foundation of 650, uh, 657 MPs who must have had the uh, the highest of all the bar association lawyers to be able to come and check this affidavit out to try and discredit it and destroy it. And they all failed. And in that affidavit, it states categorically there is no government and there is no governed. So people are not governed. Therefore, one cannot exist without the other. And unless you can show a consent to be governed formed with a wet ink signature on, there is no government. It's just a corporation. 
the UK, uh, the UK got dissolved yesterday. Anyone know? I've seen it all. I mean, we're coming to it. We're coming to it. This is this is this is beautiful times, guys. This is beautiful times, and we have won. The reason that we haven't won is because there's not enough people that have realised it. You know, that's all there is to it. If people would just wake up and smell the coffee and see things for what it really was, then they would manifest the beautiful world that we need to be in. But they're manifesting the world because they don't know. Their minds are controlled. And everybody, not everybody, the people, majority of people, majority are controlled. You can see it. You only have to go outside and look. Look at the look at them where the people that are wearing the masks, all of the people wearing the masks, they're controlled. They they've got their minds are controlled. They're scared because they're going to get a an alleged fine that was created. A law was created to make that fine from something that doesn't exist. Okay, so take me to court. Let me take me to court. Let me let me see this court. Let me see. I mean, I, I'm I'm game. They won't, they won't fucking do it for me. Let's see. I'm game. Let's see. I want to see the, I want to see the evidence. You know, I'm going, oh, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to remain in honor. You know, hang on. I'm not going to make any claims. Any claims. I'm not making claims in, in any way, shape or form, except for the claims that it's never been proven to exist. It's never been isolated. That's not my claim. That's the claim from multiple freedom of information requests to the governments. And also, as you know, we heard in Alberta, in that uh, court case, where it's on the record that they have no material evidence to substantiate it. So that's not my claim. They've claimed it themselves. And they've made, the, because of what they're doing, you know, they, listen, you can lie to some of the people some of the time, uh, sorry, some of the people all of the time, and you can lie to all of the people some of the time, but right now they are having to lie to all of the people all of the time, and why do you think the numbers are rising, and why do you think that all the rest of these things are going around, yeah? Why do you think they're putting the pressures on all this? It's all there, and everyone's like talking about this, but listen, all you have to do is here. This is what I'm saying. I'll, I'll go back to what my original bit was, which was about the court. The courts, because if you're going to get any justice, where's it going to come from? Yeah, it's the courts. Yeah, well, we don't have any courts. We don't have any courts because we've allowed them to run amok. They're taking the piss out of you because you don't even know how to fucking run. You don't even know the procedures. You don't even know those documents you're getting or court. You know, that's the thing. And when I say to people, you know, if I came around with a dodgy 20 pound note, you'd tell me to jog on. But when they come around with a piece of paper, because it says it's from the court, you say, oh, it's a court document. No, it ain't. No, it's not. Just because it says it is, I can't write water on a fucking piece of paper and drink it, can I? It's got to be what it is because it's got to be substantiated. And how's it going to be substantiated? Well, you've got, the, you've got that document. <laughs> in fact, I should put it in here. <coughs> I will put it in here. I'll put it in here so that you've got it. So it's in here. You can just print this off. You can just copy and paste it. Just copy and paste it and change change the, the wordage for yours and uh, get it sent in by email to your court. Try and find your, try, try to find your, um, your court's, uh, your court manager's name. Because this is another thing that I keep trying to get to people and say to people. Yeah, because we need to, uh, All right, we need to uh, on the grounds is because this again. When I heard, when I hear things like ping, these these things ping, you know, you know, they have this like this like an epiphany, you want to call it whatever. It's like obvious. So you know what they've been doing to us, and why they've been able to ignore us is because we never spoke up as men. We've been speaking up as the fiction, which is a dead entity, a corporation, no voice, got no voice. So they can ignore it. They can ignore our fiction. So vice versa goes back on them. You know, they can't hear us because we're going to the actor's name. 
we're going to them who, who they are acting as. So they're just actors, so they have actors immunity, they can ignore us. So we need to go to the man or woman, not who they're acting as. So we need to go to the man or woman, because it's the man or woman that swore on the oath and hold them under their oath, yeah? Hold them under the penalty of perjury in their private capacity, yeah? To give you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and give them give them your requirements, give them the commands that these your servants. How would a master talk to a servant? You know, have we forgotten? You know, you talk to your kids, don't you? Do this, do this, do this. How would you speak to this? your servant? What you'd speak to your, the servant differently than what you speak to your children? Yeah. Why? Why? If you want your children to do something, you say, "I need you to do this, 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 this." So hang on, there you go. So now how do you speak to your servant? That's exactly how you speak to him. You're respectful to your children, so be respectful to the servant. Be respectful to them. You know? You don't have to say, do this, you fucking male, blah, blah, blah. Just speak to them with respect, same as you would do with your children. Yeah? Not that your children are your servants, but you're the master of your children because you're they, they you're you created it. So you own what you create and you, you control what you create. So you, you, you're responsible for your children. You know, you're responsible for your children. So therefore you're responsible for your servants. You're responsible for your servants. In other words, you're responsible for keeping your eye on them. You keep your eye on the children to make sure they're not up to no good. You should be keeping your eye on your servants to make sure they're up to no good. And if they are, just as you chastise your children, these, these servants need chastising too. And the laws are all there for it. But you just need to bring them into the public, private into the public contract, pierce the veil, take them in as the man. Because it's the man that's got no immunity. The actor has got immunity to bring the man into the fucking public and have him in his private capacity. So um, the court... Clerk, legal advisor, administrator, name, it's very hard to acquire. Exactly, but you can go it. I mean, this is the thing, right? If you think about it, if you, if, you know, if you really did slow down to think about it and you're going into that court, it's your court. That's your fucking court. This is my building. Who are you? Identify yourself. Provide me this, this, this. I need to see it. You, are you the clerk, clerk of the court? Provide me the name, provide me your will. Do, do, do. You, CPA, I need yours. Blah, blah, blah. Show me your energy. That's it. Take control of that court. Because you're not, you don't have to say it in a nasty way. You can ask, you're like, obviously, you're going to have to ask them three times. Obviously, they're going to say no. And the judge is going to probably get up and run out. The point is, you've took control of your court. After you've, after you've asked the three times, if he, if he goes off, then he, he's negated his, 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 he's done. This is done. You know, this, this, this case is a nullity. It's void ab initio, with, with strike it out, with prejudice, job done, never to be coming back in again, yeah? Provide me the damage, I want this, this, this for, for bringing me here today and whatever else, and just put in your, your order to them because it's your call. And that's how you can stand up there as a man to do that. And I'm sure there's many men that have done that. And I'm not saying that I know that way, I'm just saying, that this is the way it would be done. They are your property. Well, you're paying them. In all hindsight, you know, you're paying their wages. They are being paid. And remember, the laws, the acts and statutes and everything else, they do apply to them because they did sign a contract. Okay? You didn't sign a contract. So the only way that they can apply to like any corporation, yeah, McDonald's does not apply to you. McDonald's doesn't apply to you because you haven't got a contract with them. Well, McDonald's is no different than the government or any police because they're all corporations and they require your consent and they rely on your tacit agreement. They rely on your tacit agreement. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Your children are your property. We certainly are. Uh, indeed, we bring our own crown, our own court, and we must be the man or woman asking the questions. Sure. Keep it's remaining in control. They're going to do everything. They're going to do everything, remember? They're going to do everything to get you scared and to get you to change perspective, to get you to argue. 
They want to get you to argue. They want to get you to argue about this in this and this. Stay on point. A, B, C, this is what I require. Provide me, you're my servant. Yeah, for me to, for me, because I've not agreed with, with this judge to be able to sit there as a judge. I've not agreed with it. I need to see, you know, it's like it's like a, a plumber coming around, you know, he looked in the paper, it says this, and he's come around, it says, uh, you know, you come around, you say, can I see your paperwork? No, uh, let me in, I'm going to come and do the job. Uh, and are you going to allow him to just push you out of the way, come into your house and start fitting a cooker or a boiler in your house when he hasn't shown you the credentials that he's qualified to do it and that he's insured to do it? What would you do? What would you do if a gas man came down to your house and took control of you and said, get out of my fucking way, I'm here to do it, now give me the money? <laughs> Think about it. You're not going to do it, are you? You're not going to, you're not going to phone up at the yellow pages a gas fitter to come and fit a boiler in your house and let him come down to your house not show you his qualifications, not to not show you that he's because that could have, anyone could put that advert in that paper. Anyone can say I'm fucking Corgi registered, this, this, and that. I can write anything I want and put it into an ad in the paper and then go around your house. And if you don't ask me to produce the material evidence to substantiate what I've claimed, and you will allow me to push you out of the way, go in there and charge you like probably whatever I want, and you and you just pay it. Really? Really? Are you really going to do that? Do you really think you're, you're, you're right in doing that? Do you think, do you think you're, you're, you're okay? Do you think, are you happy with yourself to allow that to happen? Or why would you allow it in a court? He's a fucking, he's, he's providing you a service, no different than the, than the gas man's providing you a service. So when you're going in there, you need to see his credentials, yeah? You need to see that he's qualified to stand there as a judge. You need to see that he's sworn on his oath and you need to see he's got his indemnity insurance. It's only common sense. I need to see if you're fit. I don't, I don't If you're not insured, I don't want you sitting there making a judgment for me. Thank you. Piss off. You're not qualified. You don't qualify. Because quali what qualifies with me is you've got to have this, this, this. If you haven't got that, jog on, monkey boy. Jog on. Get out of here. I also, because I mean, that's, this, that's before you go into... I need to see the proceedings that was issued by the court because I've never been served in any proceedings issued by the court. So I require a case file view. I want to see case file one, two, and three. I want to see that there's been a filing fee paid. I want to see if there's a receipt. I want to see that there's been an information made. All this. Pardon me. Children are wards of the state. Your sons and daughters are your property. Well done, mate. <laughs> I was going to say, not. Mate. It's again everything else, isn't it, Mark? All right, it's, we have to, we have to, anything that they make, any words that they say, they, we should, what do you mean by that? Because remember, the other thing is, is like when you're in a court, you're not speaking English. They're not, you're speaking English, but they're not speaking English. They're speaking legalese. You know, that's got to be, that's got to be stopped because in common law, in, and I'll put that in brackets, in in land in land you know law of the land you know that's the language of the land not the legalese so in in in, in the land jurisdiction yeah it's it's plain english in the other jurisdiction is which is the legalese which is it's not english guys you know now i'm not i'm not i'm not the big brains I'm not the man that knows all this, 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 this. I'm just a simple fucking man. I'm just no different than any of you. And you might think, like, well, the only difference is I've spent a lot longer being able to explain it. And that's what basically my service that I'm trying to do for the people out there. I'm trying to break it down simple so that you can see it. And I'm not really speaking for the people that know, already know it. And those people that know, oh, you, you, you should be this. No, I'm, I'm making it simple. I'm trying to make it simple for normal Joe blogs, the normal people that have been through, you know, that are still, still haven't or still want to get their foot on the ladder of starting to, I want to get the people interested. I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to sow that seed in the people so that they can see, fuck, I am stupid, so that they can fix themselves because you can't fix stupid. 
I cannot fix stupid. The only stupid, when I was stupid, the only way I could fix stupid was by, by fixing myself. Stupid can only fix itself. It has to, first of all, admit it's stupid. If you don't admit you're stupid, if you don't admit you're fooled, if you don't admit you've been fooled, then you'll stay fooled. You'll stay stupid. Goodbye. Can't help you. And you can't help yourself. You're not helping yourself. I can't help anybody that can't help themselves. You know? I had to help myself. By helping myself, I could see where I had been going wrong all the time. And it's not nice to face the fact that I've been fooled, I've been had over. Nobody likes to be, admit they've been fucking, they've been taken for a twat. Yeah, not just taken for a twat, they've actually been the twat, you know. I know no one likes admitting they've been a twat. But if you don't admit it, then you stay the twat. You, you, know, you don't admit you've been fooled, you stay fooled. And you ain't got time. You haven't got time now, you know, because what's happening. It's, it's, gonna, it's just going to be more and more pressure, more and more pressure. You're being forced to man up. Everybody out there right now is being forced to man up. You're either going to man up, woman up, doesn't really matter if you're going to call it, yeah? You're either going to man up, woman up, or you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna fall along the wayside, you know? So that's, that's really it. But ultimately, let's go back to what my original point was, was... Just again, it's only my my statement of what things are. Here is a very simple process that will will again solve so many issues that we're having that everybody having is because it will stop them from um, it, you'll you'll stop their ability to steal your children and uh, to steal your property because they are now been caught out how they how they are doing it because none of it had the authority of the court they've all been seen for what they are now we know that they're all working together to fool you just like i was saying with the 10 people on the line they're all agreeing on they're all singing on the same hen sheet they're all singing on the same hen sheet of the deception they're all singing on the same hen sheet that you you can't see your file you can't see your file your lawyer won't get it for you the judge won't get it for you the judge tells you that the clerk of the court can uh, sorry the the uh, court manager can give you his own discretion Jog on, monkey servants. You're the servants. We're the masters. You don't tell us. We tell you. So you provide that because that you have to provide that. And if you haven't provided it, it means for the, for the reason it is not there. So what's in the case again, guys? Oh, no case to answer to. That's all it comes down to. So we can stop all this. So many people that are having their houses because it's, it's coming for you all. They're coming for your kids, they're coming for your property, they're coming for every penny you've got. They will take everything off you if you just allow them to do it and tacitly agree to it by not questioning the fact, is this, authority, is this authentic? Is this case authentic? I have never been served with any proceedings issued by a court, providing the material evidence. I need to see the case manager file one, two and three with the case, with the, with the filing fee being paid, the receipt for the filing fee being paid, so on and so forth. Yeah. So anyway, guys, it's a bit late now. I hope this was, uh, I hope this was, uh, I hope it came across well. I don't know how many people I've got viewing. It doesn't say. It's got, it does, no, it's got nothing. It's got a blank screen. I might, I'll show you what, what I'm still seeing. Um, share screen. So you can see what I, I have to see. This is what I see. Sorry, you're having trouble playing this video, so I can't even see my live feed and uh, these are your comments actually it's good to do this because no one when i when i share the when i share the uh, live feed uh, no one sees the comments so you can now see the comments so uh, human rights again human rights i mean the question is on that human rights till now whether or not uh, the people that have taken the mRNA jab, whether or not now they have modified their DNA structure so therefore they're no longer officially classed as humans and therefore may no longer have human rights. I don't know if that's fact or not. 
but it certainly is a poignant question to whether or not people should, uh, you know, it certainly said, uh, I think there was a, uh, a court appearance where it said that that is the truth, that it had already gone through. So, you know, I hear that Congress is not to go back after the holidays. I am wondering if that was going to happen with the MPs in Parliament. I would imagine, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see what's going to come of um, the Royal Commission that Edward Ellis has been doing. I posted some more stuff on him today, like, you know, the man is, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see. I know that uh, we're coming down to the fact of words, and I've told him about the four corner laws and the language and so on and so forth, but, you know, he's coming from equity and he is an equity lawyer, so we'll see. And, you know, it's, it's coming down to the fact of what's, what's really going on, I don't know. They are interfering with your feelings, they, yeah? 18 on board at the moment. Oh, great, that's okay then. So, anyway, anyway, guys, I think, uh, I think of uh, I don't know whether they probably are. I mean, it could be just your your um, your your internet to uh, Despi Despi <clears throat> But nice to see you again, darling. You know, you're a darling, mate. It'd be nice. It's a shame actually we didn't still have those uh, group chats, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, mate. It is what it is. We can't have it all our own way, can we? We can't have it all our own way. So uh, on that note, I hope this does uh, come across okay. And I hope more and more people, especially these people that are in the groups of the, of the, of the what's it, um, you know, it's, it's not rocket science, you know, it's not a big thing to send this, this document in. It does remember, the more and more people that are going to do it, they're going to realise that they're now being seen, we watch you, we see you, we know what you're doing, we know that you're fucking counterfeiting these court cases, we know that you're breaching the procedures, they're coming for you. The truth is coming for you. The truth is coming for you. You've been caught out. And we're going to pull you into that private and we're going to hold you on those things like, always nice to see you. One day I will come to visit you. I'll hold you to that, Despiano. <laughs> and I'll, I'll get, we'll get some juice. I've got, I've got no money left now. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done now, seriously. But uh, it'd be nice to, uh, we'll get access to something. Something's got to come soon anyway. God never let, he's never, he's never let me down yet. Something always comes along. So, uh, like, like I say, I mean, if we do get this thing going, guys, and we do, you imagine the PPI, PPI effect that, you know, how many people have been taken to a dodgy counterfeit court? How many people have had their children in their, their houses and so on and so forth? How many people have been run through a private for profit building? operating as a legitimate court that never was and how many people have been fleeced and how many people are going to have to be recompensed how many people are going to have to be um, given money and you know what if 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 it was if everyone did it and they all got it and if they all gave me a pound each you know and, and i can get a hundred thousand people have a hundred pound and I'll, i can go and retire and and just sit and do whatever then be nice wouldn't it <laughs> Good or bad, it will be soon. In fact, I know that for it. I know. It certainly will. So on that note, guys, love you all. All I'm trying to do is, I mean, because at the end of the day, yeah, I've always said it. You know, I've got to say, I've got to do what I do because at the end of the day, we've all got to raise our awareness. We've got all got to become aware of what it is so that we can hold, because we're the ones that are meant to be holding them. They, they're running a mock on us because we're all asleep at the wheel. So we, the people, have got to rise up as a, as a in unity, in, in unison. And I'm, I'm trying to bring the most simplest ways for us to do that. And it's going to affect everybody for the better. Because now we'll have courts that are operating correctly. We'll be able to get justice. We'll be able to bring these people. I mean, heard, I've heard people, how do I take it into court? Well, you won't. Because they think they fucking master us. The servants have become too cocky and big boys. These little fucking, these servants, yeah, they need holding to account. And they need um, whipping into uh, doing the right thing, just like you would a child, like, you know, just like you would your child. If the child gets too, what's it? You know, you chastise your child. This, 
there's certain things I'm not talking about whipping and beating and stuff like that, but you know what I'm saying? You chastise your children. You know, there's things that they have to go without. They're pulled in there, made to go and sit in the naughty corner or whatever it is. These, these servants are no different. And the, the, but you I mean your children don't do what they do? Your children are, are, are fucking beautiful and innocent compared to what these servants are doing, stealing children. It's sick. So it might be a little bit more than just a sitting in a naughty corner for what these people have been doing, you know? But until I start to see the people raised, these are going to keep doing what they're doing. You know? God chastises those he loves. <laughs> we chastise ourselves. Self-governance, guys. Self-governance. Self-determination. Self-control. Yeah? Discipline. We discipline ourselves, self-discipline. It's all about that, yeah? The creator's with inside all of you. Get to meet him. Stop lying to him. Be truthful to yourself because you listen to yourself. And that's where it gets you, that's where you get you, you gains you your knowledge because you now see the lies. You see all the lies around you. It's not nice actually seeing, <laughs> it's not nice knowing the truth in some aspects, but I, I wouldn't want it any other way because I can now see where people are going wrong. I can see the things that they're doing wrong. I see where, the, where they're going wrong and it's not nice. And I'm seeing all these things and then I've seen them doing it to themselves and you can't tell them because once you tell them, they fall out with you. But all you're trying to do is help them and they fuck, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've been through it. Anyway, God bless. Have yourselves a beautiful night. Ciao, ciao for now. Keep smiling. <laughs>